Jesus, we lift up your name. 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 We lift up your name. Your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, we lift up your name. Say, Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. We lift up your name. Jesus, we Greetings, beloved. Today I want to tell you about what God has called me to do, one of the things that God has called me to do. God has called me to teach the church, the body of Christ, about the Holy Spirit, everything about the Holy Spirit, ranging from the nature of a prophet, talking about the gifts of the Spirit, the move of the Spirit, the anointing, everything about the Holy Spirit. God has called me to clear. And part of my, 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 part of my brief, what I do, I come from an angle that says, there's a lot of misteaching about the whole things of the Holy Spirit. Today I want to talk briefly about what it means to be led of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to take my scripture reading from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 14 and verse number 16. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many as are led. That word led is a past tense of the word lead, which means the Holy Spirit is your leader. We put it differently, is your guide. So how, what it means to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Actively, it says, do not forget that that verse says, as many as are led, they are the sons of God, or rather they are the children of God, which means the children of God have the benefit of being led by the Holy Spirit. So you do not undermine that advantage that God is giving you through the Holy Spirit. So when God wants to guide you, when God wants to guide you about anything in your life, about the decision you need to make, a future decision that you need to make, a job, a partner, business, your children, a move, anything that you need guidance on. You need to look to the Holy Spirit because He guides you through the Holy Spirit. Put it differently. A poor relationship with the Holy Spirit will land you in a trouble, in a mess because you will never get to know what God is saying to you because you don't look after your relationship with the Holy Spirit. A relationship with the Holy Spirit that is well looked after is a, holy, is a relationship that is helpful towards you and for you and to you about matters that are relating God guiding you. The Bible says when God, the Bible says the spirit of man is the kindly light of the Lord. Proverbs 20 verse 27. So when God guides us, he guides us from our spirit because that's where the Holy Spirit resides. When you're a born again child of God because the Holy Spirit lives big on the inside of you, he becomes a safe guide. We are guided by the spirit. And of course, and there, there are many ways, many ways that the Holy Spirit guides us. I'm not going to get into a lot of them today. Number one, he guides us by the inward witness. Verse number 16, I'll touch on it right now. 
Number two, he guides us through visions. Number three, he guides us through dreams. Number four, he guides us through an inward voice. Okay? Yeah, an inward voice. Notice that the inward witness is a voiceless guide. You don't hear any voice, but you have an impression from the Holy Spirit. There's something that in the, in, in the inside of you, you get to know. It's as although that God is saying something to you. But you didn't hear a voice. But it's an impression created. It's, a, it's impressed upon your spirit. You sense it in your spirit. We call, we call it like that. Now notice that for you to, I'm going to say more about that. But let me say something that's very critical about guidance. You will never come to a place where you are properly and adequately guided by the Holy Spirit if you don't have a prayer life. It's always in, a, in an atmosphere of prayer where the Holy Spirit is able to guide you and guide you adequately and guide you properly and guide you the right way. He remains our guide. And the Holy Spirit being a guide means is one of the scripturally recorded ministries of the Holy Spirit upon your life. There are things that Jesus ordained for the Holy Spirit to come and do in your life. And one of them is to guide you so that you are not left guideless. You're not left with eternal advice. Because when you want to go to someone for guidance, and you want, maybe you go to someone you trust, they call other people say you get, you get counsel from someone. If you go to someone for counsel, that counsel which means guidance. And that guidance is contains in it is the wisdom of action. Which means you want somebody to give you a piece of wisdom that will help you to act in a way not to compromise your health, your children, your future. You want to act safely, act tactically, act the right way and act in time for, for you, for your chances. And for your opportunities to be improved and to be enhanced. And for you not to lose anything in life. That's why you go to a counsel. That's why you pay a lawyer, a, pay a doctor. Because you want them to advise you about your health. So that your opportunities in life to make money, to increase, are not destroyed. But they're, 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 you are positioned properly in life. By the same token, the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, He's our great counselor. He's our counselor. He, there's no better counselor who knows your future, who knows your past, who knows who you are, than the Holy Spirit. God is our counselor. He's our guide. And that is why when we go to him, he will tell us what you need and even things you never thought about. He'll put together a piece of advice, a counsel, okay, a, a wise move, a wise piece for action for you to be, to be actioned by you, an executive piece of summary about your future that you need to know and they need to act upon and God guiding you in your matters of work, in the matters of life, in the matters of friendship, in the matters of friends. Do not undermine that. It's available to you. God has made available to you to the Holy Spirit. Those that are properly guided by the Holy Spirit, they know their boundaries and limitations. When the Holy Spirit guides you, you know where to stop because the Holy Spirit is going to tell you, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You can do this, guided by this. You know your boundaries. You don't offend people. You don't act out of character. You don't lose things. You don't lose money through wrong investments. You don't lose you don't lose your resources through acting out because you were ignorant. When you are guided, the Holy Spirit will tell you to watch even people you thought could not be watched because God knows it all. God knows where you need to, what you need to do, what you shouldn't do. And at times he will tell you to do things that you never thought would happen. And like for an example, many years ago, I knocked on a particular door. I had given up. One day when I was praying, the Holy Spirit says, go back and knock on that door. I said, Lord, they've turned me down. He said, I'm telling you, go now. When I went there, I got the answer I was not expecting because he knows what to tell us. You need to take advantage of the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Pray, beloved. Stay in prayer and he'll continue to guide you through the inward witness, knowing that even though there's a voice, but he'll never leave you to nothing. He'll give you an impression, a sensing of what you need to do in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word. We bless the word and help us, Father, to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit as is our guide in Jesus' name. Amen.